What's going on guys, Bengal again here, coming back at you with another video, and today back on Lions Franchise, we are currently 8-1, and one. we've had some good games, and we've had some big time great performances, we're not just going to call them blowouts, but that's kind of what they have been, we've had kind of a cupcake schedule so far, we've played some pretty bad teams, and this doesn't really change today, it's so a 2-6 LA Rams, they really aren't particularly great, and it shouldn't be all that challenging to beat them. Their offense is only 76 rated, but is it actually that bad? They have old Matt Stafford at this point. Cam Akers is a 93. He might be a little bit difficult to contend with. Receiving core isn't too bad. Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, Steve Townsend, Brett Waters at tight end is only a 76. I imagine their offensive line must be very bad. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Their defense doesn't appear to be too bad, but I don't. I wouldn't say it's an 85 rated. This is the big one. Rookie superstar dev linebacker, Forrest Johnson. I think we looked at him and opted to go with Tyrone Wilbur instead, and I think I value that decision more. You know, maybe in a sim franchise, Forrest Johnson would make more sense. He only got 84 speed compared to the like 90 speed of Tyrone Wilbur or 89. Both 21 years old. He's 6'3 and looks like an insane person, which is what you want at the middle linebacker position. Going to do some work on the receivers today. Just get some of these guys taken care of. And there seem to be a lot of first round receivers, especially some guys that can play the football in the air. You see a lot of high-rated spectacular catch, which is nice. There isn't a ton of height, though. Multiple 5'8 receivers here at the top. I think only one player above 6 feet. But there are some decent receivers here in the second round that we might take a look at. We're in kind of a weird spot at that position where there really isn't a ton of depth, especially with injury. Amon Ross St. Brown is injured at the moment. So that leaves us with only Chris Godwin, Richie Owens, and Raphael Wilkinson, really. We do have Assad Riley. We do have Garth Ray, but these are not like starting caliber players behind Raphael Wilkinson. So we just need everybody to stay healthy and we should be fairly su su uh, successful. I can't say that word, apparently. Uh, the, you guys have wanted me to trade Chris Godwin over the course of this season. You just don't understand depth, clearly. With the amount of injuries that happen, everyone wants me to turn down injuries. Injuries happen in the NFL. Injuries give an interesting twist to the franchise. They happen at this rate. If you think they don't, you're not watching. They happen this much. Maybe not all the practice injuries, you know, at this level, but injuries happen. Injuries happen. And yeah, Chris Godwin hasn't been like super involved in the passing game. He's missed some time with injury. He has six touchdowns. It's not, oh man, my superstar player isn't putting up God tier numbers. Let me trade him. We don't have to trade everybody on the team. <laughs> we don't have to do that. But we'll go ahead and uh, go to weekly strategy here. And hopefully the entire team doesn't get injured in practice as they probably want to get injured in practice. That's what they want to do. And we want to counter the blitz, I would say. I'm a little bit more worried about the pressure rather than just running the football. And our goals are going to be what they usually are for the most part. And hopefully the team stays fairly healthy. I know injuries happen. But I just want the team to be mostly healthy. No big time starters going down. And the defense was clear. And the offense is clear as well. So we are at full strength heading into this game against the Rams. Minus Amon Ross St. Brown. Who doesn't really matter to be honest. We'll upgrade Carlos Springs who doesn't really play. And get into this game against the Rams. Very happy to have Dorian Tompkins back. I guess that's the big story of this week. He is an incredible player, and it's going to be very nice to get him again. All right, Lions-Rams. This matchup had a little bit more on the line when Jared Goff was our quarterback. Thank God those days are over. But Matthew Stafford still playing his old team, so there is that. But he's playing at SoFi in Los Angeles, so... It's not like he's returning to Detroit or anything. Oh, and Stafford's getting sacked right away by the big man. 
Welcome back, Dorian Tompkins. He's introducing himself to Matt Stafford for what is probably about the fifth time in his career. Dorian Tompkins just gets after it every game. And yeah, Stafford's going to get obliterated today, I hope. Is this the first game for Cameron Ford, a superstar X-Factor, by the way? How much man coverage am I prepared to run? Probably a lot. Probably a lot. As they're going to go at a money or a warrior, and that's going to be completed. How? How? 26-yard gain on third and long. You got to be kidding me with that. Motion across formation. It's going to be play action. It's going to be thrown at Cam Ford to Cooper Cup. Back-to-back -back first downs for LA. Deron Payne spins around. Big hit, Derek Davidson. But Akers has the first, and we are getting just beat down right now. Things started out looking so promising, and now the Rams are turning it on. Into the red zone. Stafford out of the shotgun. And he's going to be under pressure and will just throw it away. Run, uh, run to the right. I don't remember what direction right and left are. <laughs> Third and ten. It's just can't cover everybody. Can't cover everybody. To run, Richard Russell with the stop. Brian Davis in there as well. That's exactly what you want to do. Bring your safeties into the box on first and goal. It worked, though. It's another run. Wilbur right up the middle. Huge hit on the ball carrier, Cam Akers. And Tyrone Wilbur's letting them know. First tackle of the game for the rookie. Now it's third and goal. More man coverage. I got to trust the guys. And it's going to be a slant, and it's going to be a touchdown LA. That was just way too easy. That's Townsend getting in there. And the Rams are on the board first. Pretty good year for Paul Garrison so far. About 3,600 yards, 39 touchdowns to only seven interceptions. Yeah, we're, we're, fi we're figuring it out, all right? Second and eight, going back to the run game. This time it's Rashad Reese, though. And that's going to be very close to the first. Will not give it to us. Make it third and one. Here's a run. DeAndre Swift might be just short. But they're going to move the chains. First and ten, Detroit. Third and seven. That's open. Richie Owens up the middle. Big time catch on third and seven for 20 on the first passing attempt of the game for the Lions. Rolling out with Paul Garrison. We have escape artists now. Tried to slide and he started and then didn't. You have to initiate it so early. There's a little run, and Rashad Reese showcases some good speed. Hit that hole very quickly. Third and five. A little slant to the rookie, and Raphael Wilkinson has the first down to end the first quarter. Second and five. Oh, that's pressure. Okay. Romeo Quara, the former Detroit Lion. There you go. Third and 14. Ah, wanted that. You better keep running that route. I'm just, we're just going to get out of bounds. Dude, just run to the sideline, Rashad Reese. And we have to uh, settle for a field goal try. A little annoying, but we are on the board. 7-3, still in favor of the Rams. Stafford under pressure. He's going to lose the football. Deshaun Hand forced it out. Eric Hudson's there to wrap up the recoverer, which is David Edwards. Recoverer? Okay. Third and 13. Stafford going to drop back here. We're playing underneath. And Stafford doesn't really have anywhere to go with the football. He's rolling out, and we'll just throw it away on third and 13. Play action. Richie Owens, and we got it there. I was worried that throw was going to be on a line too much and that Romeo Cuaro would make a play on the ball. First of all, a defensive end wearing number 19 is wrong. I don't like that at all. But uh, thankfully, it was completed. No weird animation. And DeAndre Swift will get two. 
Third and eight. Need the first down. And I, I want a lot of options. We're going to go Godwin, though, on the run. Good throw from Paul Garrison, and it's a 20-yard pickup. Third and 11. That's wide open. TJ Hawkinson, touchdown. They just didn't account for the tight end. Wide open, just sitting down in the end zone. I almost didn't see him. He was right in the shadows there. But... You know, as wide open as wide open gets. Touchdown, and we're going to take the lead. Finally, 40th passing touchdown of the year for Paul Garrison. It's going to be a run, and that is going to be completely swallowed up by Jeff Okuda. Nice tackle behind the line. Third and short for the Rams. Under four minutes to play in half number one. Let's get on Tyrone Wilbur here and make a play. Is this a run? Oh, it's play action. It's going to be a check down. Derek Davidson in pursuit. He's not going to make the tackle. Put tackle supreme on Derek Davidson. Or whatever. It's, I don't want to. I like acrobat. I like interceptions. To run. That is a nice tackle by Tyrone Wilbur. LA not going anywhere. Third and 11. On the verge of uh, calling some timeouts. Because we want to score before the end of the half. And we had it up the middle. Just needed a blitz there. Needed a commit. Tyrone Wilbur can't make the tackle. First down, Los Angeles. Taking a shot at the end zone. And that is off the hands of Jeff Okuda. Would have been out of bounds anyway. Third and ten. They're going to go over the middle, right? Oh, Stafford under pressure. And he goes down again. This time it's Levi Anzarike. And we'll be calling a timeout. That's not what I want. I, the buttons with the PS4 uh, controller versus the PS5 controller. I've been playing a lot of NCAA 14 college football revamped. That's a series on the channel for the Riverside Royals as... Can we even call that a field goal attempt? It made contact with the ball. I mean, that was the worst kick I've ever seen. McCann was his name. He can't make anything. That wasn't even remotely close. Wow, that was terrible. That's open. It, a lot happened there. It was kind of what I wanted. I wanted to lob it over the closest defender and then it was kind of there, but we went for like an aggressive catch versus I guess what we should have done. And then it was nearly caught by Rashad Reese off the tip. It's third and 12. And we're doing what we do. Roll out. Throw to Rafael Wilkinson. That's the offense. We're out of bounds at the 22. Screen to Rashad Reese. Give me a block. Give me a block. Give me another block. Sniff arm by Reese. We're inside the 10. Let's go a little hurry up. Up the middle. Rashad Reese takes a huge hit. Call hurry up again. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Second and goal. Chris Godwin, touchdown! What a way to end the first half for the Lions. Chris Godwin finds the end zone, which is just what he does. I mean, he has seven touchdowns. It's not a small amount. Last play of the first half. Stafford airing it out deep, just short of the end zone, and it is... Nearly caught by Robert Woods after several tips. And that is the end of the first half. 17-7, we have the lead. It's been an interesting game so far. We're going to start with the football. Assad Riley back to return. Here's half number two. Okay, that's not a great return. Second and ten. Oh, that was not a, a curl. Yeah, I knew it too late. First interception in a while, I just saw him sit down and I go, that's what the route is. No, he was going back up the field. Yep. It's just a mistake. Just a mistake. Wilbur caught on a block. And LA with an awesome opportunity to score here and get back in this game. Fourth and inches. Rams going for it. Here's a run to the right. And that's a stiff arm by Akers. Oh my goodness, we had him. 
Akers with a great individual effort to fight for the first. And the Rams will continue their efforts to get in the end zone. That was our opportunity. That was it right there. Didn't happen for us. Throw an end zone touchdown, Robert Woods. It's been too easy for him in the green zone. Inside the 30, they're making it happen. In the red zone, it's been even easier somehow. DeAndre Swift up the middle. Try to cut it to the outside for extra yardage, and that's his longest run of the day. It's been hard to get yards with him in this one. Quick throw to Wilkinson. And he actually made a man miss. Aaron Donald chasing him down the field. And Wilkinson's going to have a touchdown. Quick throw to the flat to the rookie out of Auburn. And he took it all the way. How did he manage to do that? Just quickly down to the, down to the flat. I mean, he made somebody miss. And just did 60 yards after the catch. Touchdown, Raphael Wilkinson. That is unbelievable. Run up the middle. Ooh, what is what just happened there? That's going to be very close on third down. I'm not sure that ball is going to stretch over. It's fourth and one. And backed up to their own 34. The Rams are going to punt. Rolling out. And we're just going to take the yardage with Paul Garrison. Quick throw underneath. Rashad Reese will take the first. Man, you know what you guys can do? If you want to see a player like Rashad Reese in person, download SeatGeek. Use code BANGO when you do. You'll save $20 when you buy tickets for anything. Even imagine that? It's a lot of money you're saving. That's code Bengal on SeatGeek, if I didn't mention. Code Bengal on SeatGeek. I know a lot of you can't spell Bengal. It's frightening, really. Now oh, DeAndre Swift, make a man miss. Make a man miss. Big first down to the running back. He's been a good receiver of late. Play action. And that is open. Wilkinson has a step. We know he's so elite after the catch and he fumbled. Look away. It didn't happen. It was out of bounds. Up the middle, DeAndre Swift. It's going to be very close to moving the chains. And they'll move the chains. First and goal, Detroit. Throwing outside, Rashad Reese. Turn up field and what a tackle to save a touchdown by Kovacs. Second and goal from the two now. I think a pitch is going to work wonderfully. Got blockers with the tight ends. We're going to have to cut this up the middle though. Swift looking for space, finds it. Got into the end zone. DeAndre Swift with a rare rushing touchdown after the three receiving touchdowns last week. And we'll take a 31-14 lead, pending an extra point. Oh, that's going to be right at me, and I can't make a play because linebackers don't get animations in this game. And Stafford going down again. It's his old friend, Dorian Tompkins. Never teammates, obviously, if you've watched the series, but Dorian Tompkins has spent a lot of time with him, usually collapsing the pocket, bringing him down, causing him pain. It's going to be a screen. Hudson with a nice tackle. You know, he had the opportunity to go up to star dev not too long ago and just didn't make a play. Roughing the passer. Braxton Turner penalized here, and it's a free first down for the Rams, who are trying to fight back in this game. Only eight minutes to go, really, in the fourth quarter. They're going to need to step on the gas pedal a little bit, and they need seven. And that's going to be Cam Ford in coverage. Cooper Cup just had a little bit of a step, and it's a great throw. Run to the right. Wilbur right there. Read it perfectly. 
shot the gap and acres for maybe the fifth time today is going to lose a couple yards and it is third and goal la huge play for the rams they're throwing slants we're taking them stafford buying time and throwing away on third and goal they've got to go for the first down here got to go for the end zone i should say got to score a touchdown fourth and goal game essentially on the line for the rams stafford throw into the end zone and cameron ford knocks it away turn over on downs Ooh, one of the longest runs of the day for Swifty. Ooh, DeAndre Swift in the zone. More powerful trucks. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> Third and two. That's open. We're going down the field. Hawkinson, hey, you cannot underthrow that. He's running against the linebacker. It's a touchdown. Why is that not there? That's got to be a first down. It's got to be an accurate ball. It's got to be a touchdown. It, ah. And it's going to be a fumble. Deron Payne got in there. Dorian Tompkins recovered. And that is, that's got to be the game. <laughs> first turnover forced by this Lions defense, which has been so good at getting them in the past. No interceptions. We had a strip sack, which is extremely rare usually. Fourth and in inches. Well, we're going for the game here. So we're lining up to go for it. Four down linemen. They should have put more on the line. Rashad Reese, first down. That should be the dagger. Run up the middle. DeAndre Swift is on the bench watching Rashad Reese score. That's who that is. <laughs> Moments. Whoa, 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 whoa. Moments. He misses a couple plays there. But uh, nothing really happened. I never went to play the moments, so I don't really know why that popped up. Oh, I run this play actually pretty frequently. Bonk. <laughs> right off the helmet, right off the face mask of Robert Woods. Wilbur on the blitz. And that is going to be caught somehow. Are we playing any pass coverage today? And they're going deep. Ford trying to take the football away. And that is out of bounds. Third and ten. The Rams not technically out of this one yet. But now they will be. It's a Cameron Ford interception. Big takeaway to essentially... And the game, not like it wasn't over already. And a backflip from Cameron Ford. Don't hurt yourself, please. Do not hurt yourself. We have enough injuries on this team on a week-to-week -week basis. We don't need our corner doing back handsprings and then backflips at the end of the game. Cartwheels, whatever he was doing. Dude thinks he's in gymnastics. Give him the gold medal. Final play of the game will be Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald trying to rip that football out. He ain't going to get it. Good try, good try, but you ain't getting nothing. But that is the game, 38-14, Rams going down. Good overall game. Garrison, 18-24, 295 and three touchdowns. Did have an interception on the ground. Cam Akers wasn't too great, but we didn't really have much of a running game either. Two touchdowns for the backs, one for Swift, one for Reese. You know, not a great overall performance by any of these guys. But Swifty got going in the second half a little bit. Rashad Reese had eight catches for 31 yards. But the big story, I guess, would be Raphael Wilkinson. Five for 171 and a touchdown. And, of course, 105 yards after the catch, including a 62-yard catch and run. Richie Owens, two for 37. Godwin, two for 26 and a touchdown. Hawk had one catch for a touchdown. We didn't really play a ton of offense this game. I mean, Reese had eight catches for only 31 yards. I don't even know how that's possible. Very odd. We didn't really even throw the ball that many times. Only 18 completions. It's a little bit lower than we usually have. Wilbur had six tackles, two for loss. Eric Hudson had three for loss. Where was that last week or two weeks ago? Three for Tompkins, two for Payne, two for Wilbur, two for Okuda, and one for Levi Anzarike. Two sacks for Tompkins, one for Payne, Anzarike, and Deshaun Hand. And of course, the pick 
to seal it by Cameron Ford, who also had three pass deflections, force fumble for pain and hand recovery made by Dorian Tompkins. And of course, no defensive touchdowns. Dorian Tompkins with an upgrade after a two sack performance, still only 24 years old. Power moves into the 90s. Block shed, not quite there. He's got 99 strength. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to do power rusher here. 89 overall for Dorian Tompkins now. Plus one speed. Plus two tackle. Watch out with 80 speed now. Good luck. 95 tackle. Oh, he's a beast. Jamie Allridge will get an upgrade. Playing up to a 77. Don't really know if those are major upgrades or not, but... He's upgraded. But that'll be the episode. We're actually playing a pretty good team here in week 11, finally. 89 offense, although only 79 defense for the 84 overall Dallas Cowboys. Should be an interesting one, led by 99 overall Zeke. I'm sure they still have Dak as well. But that'll be next episode, and I'll see you there. Take it easy. Since ain't I hit at the park, Ben Bones. See me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Play with the best, let them know. Get off the track, the train's coming through. Yeah. Promise you get in my way, then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah, yeah. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defensive joke, I'm laughing so loud.